Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our ninth lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our ninth example which reads that an athlete runs a distance of 100 meters measured to the nearest 10 centimeters in 12 seconds measured to the nearest 1 second. Calculate the percentage error in his speed. So we'll start by getting the absolute error in the distance that was covered. So we get the absolute error, absolute error, absolute error in the distance that was covered will be equal to, so this will be a half of, we are told that the athlete uh, runs a distance of 100 meters, which was measured to the nearest 10 centimeters. So to get the absolute error, we'll take a half of uh, the nearest, uh, which was to the nearest 10 centimeters. So a half of 10 centimeters should give us the, uh, the absolute error in the distance covered. But because the distance covered was in meters, for our units to rhyme, we'll be forced to change uh, the 10 centimeters into meters so that our units will be uh, rhyming. Therefore, the absolute error in the distance will be a half of, if I convert uh, the 10 centimeters uh, into meters, this will be over 100 centimeters, then of course multiplied by uh, 1 meter, so that the centimeters can cancel out. So this will give us a half of uh, 10 divided by 100, of course this will give us 0 0.1 uh, meters. So a half of 0 0.1 meters, of course this will give us 0. Uh, 0 0.05 uh, meters as the absolute error in the distance that was covered. Therefore, it means that the limits within which our distance uh, lies will be the actual distance was uh, 10, uh, the actual distance was 100 uh, meters. Therefore, the limits within which the distance will lie will be 100 meters. Then, of course, the maximum possible uh, distance will be 100. Uh, meters plus 0 0.05 meters. Of course, this will give us a uh, hundred uh, point zero five uh, meters. Then the minimum possible uh, distance covered will be a hundred meters minus the absolute error. So a hundred minus 0 0.05. Of course, this will give us a uh, ninety nine point uh, nine five meters. So this is these are the limits within which our distance lies. Then of course we'll also get the uh, the absolute error, absolute error, the absolute error in the time, absolute error in the time. Uh, this will be given by we'll take a half of uh, multiplied by. We are told that uh, the distance was covered in twelve seconds, which was measured to the nearest one second. Therefore, the absolute error in the time will be a half of one second that is a half of what was uh, to the nearest so a half of one second of course this will give us uh, 0 0.5 seconds remember in this case i'm not converting the seconds into any other units because the units are already rhyming the time was given as 12 uh, seconds then it is also to the nearest one second so the units are already uh, rhyming so this will be the absolute error uh, in the time therefore to get the limits within which our time lies will be the actual time was 12 seconds so the actual time was 12 seconds the maximum possible time will be 12 plus 0 0.5 of course this will give us 12.5 uh, seconds then the minimum possible time covered will be 12 then minus the absolute error in the time so 12 minus 0 0.5 of course, this will give us 11.5 seconds. So those are the limits within which our time uh, actually uh, lied. Now, because we want to get the percentage error in the speed, we'll be forced to first of all get the absolute error in the speed. Of course, to get the absolute error in the speed, we need to have the maximum possible speed and also the minimum possible uh, speed. Therefore, let's get the uh, maximum possible uh, speed so the speed maximum will be given by, to get the maximum value, we'll take the distance, uh, we'll take the maximum possible uh, distance, then we divide by uh, the minimum possible 
a time taken so time a uh, minimum remember when you take the maximum value divided by the minimum value you're going to get the maximum possible uh, quotient or the division so this will give us the maximum possible uh, time uh, the maximum possible distance of course was 100.05 uh, meters so this, this one will be 100.05 uh, meters then the minimum uh, possible time taken it was uh, this one here 11.5 that was our minimum possible time so divided by 11.5 uh, seconds of course this quotient will give us you take 100.05 uh, divided by 11.5 you're going to get 8.7 uh, of course this will be meters per second so this is the maximum possible uh, speed of this athlete from there we'll also get the minimum uh, possible uh, speed so we get the speed uh, minimum now to get the minimum possible speed it will just be the opposite of uh, the maximum so we'll take the minimum uh, possible uh, distance minimum possible distance then we divide with the maximum a uh, possible time taken remember that when you take the minimum value divided by the maximum value you are going to get the minimum possible a uh, quotient so this will give us uh, the minimum possible uh, that is distance covered it was here so the minimum possible uh, distance covered was 99.95 meters so this is 99.95 uh, uh, meters divided by the maximum possible time was 12.5 seconds 12.5 uh, seconds so if we take 99.95 by, by 12.5 the quotient will give us 7.996 uh, uh, meters per second therefore uh this is actually uh the minimum a uh, possible speed now remember our target is to get the absolute error in the speed so to get the absolute error in the speed we'll need to have the maximum speed and the minimum uh speed so absolute error absolute error in the speed absolute error in the speed of course this will be given by we usually take a half of the maximum value minus the minimum value so we'll take a half of uh the maximum speed speed maximum minus the minimum uh possible uh speed so this should give us the absolute error in the speed so this will be a half of uh the maximum possible speed was 8.7 uh, meters per second 8.7 minus the minimum possible speed was uh, 7.996 uh, of course meters per second so this will be a half of you take 8.7 minus 7.996 uh, of course this will give you 0 0.704 uh, which of course is in meters per second so a half of 0 0.704 this will give us 0 0.35 uh, 2 meters per second as the absolute error in the speed now to get the percentage error in the speed we'll also need to have the actual speed so we get the actual uh, speed actual speed of course this will be distance over time huh? so we'll take the uh, actual distance so actual speed is equals to uh, distance uh, the actual distance speed is distance over time taken then divided by uh, the actual uh, time taken the actual time taken so this will give us the actual speed of course that is the actual distance was 100 uh, meters uh, so we had it as 100 meters so this is 100 meters divided by the actual time taken was uh, 12 seconds so divided by 12 seconds so if you take 100 uh, divided by 12 of course this will give you eight whole number and a third uh, this is meters per uh, second meters per second therefore to get the percentage error uh, to get the percentage error in the speed of this particular athlete uh, we are going to have the following percentage error percentage error in the speed 
percentage error in the speed will be given by absolute error in the speed the absolute uh, error in the speed absolute error in the speed absolute error in the speed divided by the actual speed actual speed then of course this will be multiplied by a hundred percent so this will be equal to absolute error in the speed we had computed it which was a uh, uh, 0 0.352 of course meters per second divided by the actual speed we have it as a uh, eight whole number and a third uh, meters per second then of course multiplied by a hundred percent clearly the units are going to cancel out meters per second will cancel out so we are going to remain with uh, 0 0.352 divided by eight and a third this one you compute on the calculator you're going to get 0 0.04224 of course, this one alone, we call it the relative error in the speed. Then, of course, when, whenever you multiply with 100%, now this gives you the uh, percentage error in the speed. So, of course, the two zeros are going to shift the decimals uh, twice. So, we'll have 4.224%. So, this is the percentage error in the speed of this particular athlete. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.